my glam girls welcome back to my channel it's chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly so we have the chanel le blanc spring 2023 collection and i picked up the eyeshadow palette and also the blush so i'll be sharing with you a demo of both products on my face sharing with you my thoughts and who i think these products will work best for so stay tuned for all of that Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And if you are new, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and join the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And let's get right into this video. So I wanna say thank you to a couple of creators for inspiring me to pick up this collection. Sophia Sees Beauty, for sure. And then I wanna thank Brie Moore for inspiring me to pick up this collection because both of those creators were the ones that made me pull the trigger because initially I was just kinda like, it looks pretty, mm, I don't know. And then I saw them in action and I was like, okay. So starting out with the eyeshadow quad, it, this is the Le Hombre Delice. Look, y'all know I'm not good with French, I think it is. But anywho, this is the eyeshadow quad and it does retail for $70. This is limited edition and it's their multi-effect quadra eyeshadow palette. So it says it's created exclusively for the Delice Pastel de Chanel collection. It features four soft pastels inspired by Gabrielle Chanel's love for chiffon dresses and summer tweeds. The delicate and contrasting hues form a harmonious display of brilliance and depth for a dazzling wide awake gaze. Each is stamped with a double C monogram. So we have in here a soft violet shade, powdery rose, the pastel yellow, and then a brownish mauve shade. And they all are gonna impart a shimmering iridescence. It's a long lasting mineral formula that will deliver a striking effect while plant oils ensure a smooth texture for effortless application. It's ophthalmologist tested and suitable for contact lens wearers. So I'll do quick swatches of all of the shades so you can see them swatched. Um, in true Chanel fashion, these are not overly pigmented, but I was quite impressed and shocked that the formula is quite buildable, I would say, especially for Chanel eyeshadows, because sometimes they can be just quite subtle and that's all you're gonna get. So these are the shades swatched on the back of my hand. And I know those swatches were not good, so let me like swatch and look so you can see them better. Here's a better swatch of the shades in the quad. And when creating this eye look, I started off with the uh, powdery rose shade and I was able to build this up to like a very soft look on the eyes. I did go in with the About Face Eye Primer first. Um, well, I'm not gonna show it to you all, but I did go in that with an eye primer just so that the shadows could adhere to my lids just a little bit more. And I felt like the powders glided very easily over the eyeshadow primer. There was no skipping. I didn't find it hard to blend out the products as well. And I did find with these eyeshadows, a really good method of application is stamping the eyeshadow if you do want more pigmentation. Um, so I would stamp the product on and then blend. Like I would kind of blend out the edges, but leave the center of the shade on the eyes, if I could say almost not blended, so I could have more pigmentation but just blended out the edges. Then I went in with the brownish, the brownish mauve shade and this showed up really nicely against my skin. Um, and I do think you actually can see a difference between the powdery rose and the brownish mauve shade. Once again, blended out really, really nicely. I feel like the powdery rose shade has almost more like a matte formula where the violet, brownish mauve and the yellow shade have more of that shimmer ir iridescent type of formula. And then went in with the violet shade all over the lid and the shade is so beautiful. It would be beautiful alone or you can add something else to it if you wanna add like a little bit more drama to the eye. So I definitely went in with the yellow shade, added it to the inner corner just to kind of brighten the eye look a little bit, open up my eyes a bit. And I think for what this quad is, this is a really beautiful pastel quad and I am highly impressed by how well these shadows performed. Because looking at the shadows in the pan, I'm like, these look a little light. These look like I'm not really gonna see anything on my eyes. And even like swatched on the back of my hand, I'm just kind of like, well, let's hope for the best. And I, I'm really shocked by how nice this eye look looks. You can actually see it against my skin. Like it just doesn't look like I have one shade on my eyes. 
um, like you can actually see a couple of different shades on my eyes. And I think this is really, really pretty. Um, Brie Moore, she is a uh, black creator and she's a little bit deeper than I am in complexion. And the shade showed up really nicely against her skin as well. So I think if you have about my complexion to like a tan deep complexion, then these actually will show up. Now you're gonna get a very light wash of color the deeper you are. Um, complexion wise but when I saw them on her I was like okay great these actually will show up on me because she is a little deeper than I am and they showed up really nicely against her skin so if you were looking at this and you had a deeper complexion just a little deeper than I am I think you should go for it because formula wise this is really beautiful and this is a color combination that I don't really have in one palette and Brie mentioned that as well and I was like yeah I would have to agree with her I don't have a color combination in a palette like this um just readily available so i really like this and another comment that brie said that i'm not a chanel connoisseur in terms of eyeshadow palettes like i have a few of them but i don't collect them all but she obviously is just based on how she was talking about the brand and she was like this is out of the box for chanel and she was really happy to see them step out of their comfort zone and do something more springy kind of out of the box playing around with color and not just staying along the neutral side of shades and so i think this is really beautiful and if you're interested in it i would say pick it up like i would reach for this one for sure i would definitely reach for this one and especially if i want it just like a nice subtle eye look or I would use this as maybe a base and then maybe pop on something a little bit more uh, shimmery if I wanted to add like a little razzle dazzle to it. But I still wanted the base to be like really nice, soft, um, and smooth. Like look how smooth these eyeshadows look on my lids. And my lids are not the youngest. Like I definitely have wrinkles on my lids. Um, eyeshadow will definitely get stuck in the folds of my lids and you don't see any of that like I didn't have to pull my eyelid up to make sure eyeshadow wasn't stuck in the crease or missing from the crease like this formula is really beautiful and easy to work with so I also think this would be great for mature eyelids as well because it blended effortlessly like I didn't all I had to do was just like lift up my eyebrows and blend away but sometimes depending on the formula of eyeshadows i have to lift my eyebrows up and then like pull the skin back to make sure eyeshadow gets in there because there'll be creases and i'll only see it when like i'm doing you know footage of my my whole look and i'm like dang it i ain't get eyeshadow in that crease so this is just in my opinion an all-around beautiful eyeshadow palette and i'm very happy to have it now let's talk about this blush because the blush was what i was like really excited about so this is the fantasie de chanel this is the illuminating powder and it retails for 80 dollars and the shade is pastel fuchsia so this is a luminous blush and it's inspired by the softness and the levity of summer it's a marbled powder that imparts a shimmering veil re revealing a fresh and radiant looking complexion it's embossed with a double c monogram and it's designed using a tie-dye technology and the compact combines two shades a rose gold and a radiant pink and it features a unique fabric like pattern and an easy to blend texture so it does come with a brush um, in the packaging i didn't use the brush today but it does feel really nice and soft and i do think this would be a really nice brush to apply the blush with if you wanted to do so so i will swatch this one really quick for you and i like that you can actually see the two tones of blush in the blush quad so i'll swatch it right here and this looks really really nicely let me let me do that again because that looked kind of rough here we go so this is the blush swatched right here and blended out um, when I saw this, I was like, the blush is honestly what I really wanted. But I was like, I don't know if this is going to show against my complexion or is it going to look a little too cool toned and ashy? What y'all think? Because I think it looks so beautiful and I love that it looks like a blush highlighter. Like I didn't put on any additional highlight because I didn't need it. Like the blush did it for me. It's a really nice, like, um... It gives you like a nice lit from within and i like that as i'm moving my head it looks like just glowing skin it doesn't look like a stark highlighter um and it also i like that you can see some color so it's not one of those shades that is so light 
that you don't see the actual base of the shade, you just see glow. I like that you can actually see the uh, that this tone of blush against my complexion. And it actually, I think because it does have rose gold in the color, it actually can work for a shade that's just a little deeper. So also Brie Moore, she wore the blush. It looked beautiful on her. And like I said, she really sold me because I wasn't, I wasn't sure if these tones would look good against my complexion. And when I saw them on her, I was like, yep, yep. And I'll have both um, Sophia and Brie's channels linked down below so you can take a look at their channels and um, take a look at their videos too. So you can, you know, see what it looks like on a couple of different complexions besides mine. But this is beautiful. I love the packaging of this. Like, I am so here for it. And I love that, um, you know, with most highlighters, it's gonna emphasize texture because that's just what highlighters do. But I think it does look really nice and smooth on the cheek and the texture that I do have on my cheeks right along here, I don't think it's emphasizing it too much and that the skin just looks nice and smooth. Like the product looks smooth over the texture on my skin. So I recommend this as well. Like this was a very great collection for me. I didn't know what to think. I was like, I, I seen it on other people and it looks really pretty on them. But maybe I won't like it, or maybe I think you know, maybe I, I thought I was gonna try the products and be like, I mean, they're okay. You don't need them. And I mean, I'm not gonna say that you need them, but I am gonna say if you were potentially eyeing them, pick them up, especially because it's limited edition, and we know Chanel does abide by the limited edition code. If you think you might want these, I would say pick them up because they're really, really beautiful. And I feel like this blush, you can also stack it with another blush. Um, like this would look so beautiful maybe with, um, like I just picked up the Haas Labs blush in the shade Dragon Fruit. So this blush right here. So if I applied this one all over the cheeks and then like I, I topped it with this one, like right along the apples of the cheeks, or this was just like maybe the highlighter with this blush, come on, stunning. So guys, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. If there are any questions that I didn't answer for you, please leave them down in the comment section below. But let me know your thoughts. Are you interested in this collection? Are you gonna pick it up? How do you like the products? Leave it all down in the comment section below. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.